エスデスさん俺に痛みをくれ辰巳そういう趣味だとは This needs to stop now This is cancer This is so much cancer That I can feel the tumors Growing on my back Sometimes anime companies take the risk to try something different. It may fail or it may succeed, but sometimes they skyrocket to amazing fame and glory. They even set the tropes for much work to come. The impression the manga fans gave me about Akame ga Kill before it started is that it is a unique and excellent shonen manga and the anime adaptation is very likely to be a new trope setter for the future shonen. But here's what I think about Akame ga Kill. Akame ga Kill follows the story of a boy named Tatsumi who set out on a journey for the capital in order to earn money for his starving village. However, when he arrives, he only finds a world full of unimaginable corruption. People are murdered, tortured, and manipulated on a daily basis for no specific reason other than the fact that government is super evil. After seeing the corruption, Tatsumi joins the Night Raid, a group of assassins dedicated to eliminating corruption throughout the capital by mercilessly killing those responsible. One misconception in the anime industry is that when a show is dark and contains excessive amount of gore, many people automatically starts to think that it is deep and thought provoking. The problem is that many anime studios get so hung up with making the show as bad as and dark as possible that they forget about more important problems that might plague the show, like character development and pacing. There are several problems with Akame ga Kill plot, and all of them are related to very core foundation of how the show was written, making them. Absolutely crippling. The first issue is that its style is completely unrelated to its substance. The anime can decide if it wants to be edgy, dark, violent action show or a light, upbeat comedy action show net with lots of fan service, of course. Since it can decide, it tries to be both at the same time. This, of course, results in it being neither. Akame ga Kill absolutely have no concept of tone whatsoever. In fact, the first episode contains arguably the worst writing decision in a TV show I have ever seen in my entire life. It was very easy to notice since the first episode that the villains in this anime seems quite stupid. They do evil because they enjoy doing evil or they do evil because they are too retarded to understand the difference between evil and good. Only 3 exceptions to this case were found in the anime but they weren't given enough screen time in order to be explored. Anyway, they were were still as stereotypical as ever what is worse than that is the plot keep showing off how evil the villains are by making them meaninglessly do things to show off how evil they are if you have watched this anime completely then you will remember that there was a scene where as death was uselessly talking about how a flower can be used in torture wow <laughs> I mean what really that was so meaningless second point is the anime tries to force a dark tone by killing off some characters frequently this causes a severe problem because most of the characters were not given enough time to show any development thus their deaths has no meaning either it was like the death of some stranger in a car accident you may feel sorry for him but you will quickly forget about him because you know very little about him those characters who had enough time to develop either didn't get enough screen time or were just too simple and stereotypical that there was nothing to explore about their personalities all akame ga kill characters lack character development that it feels like they can only be used as unimportant side characters for a better story akame ga kill has misused some of the clichés like death flags that the past of the characters is usually revealed shortly before its death so the character's death was very predictable just know that if the anime is showing a past of a certain character then that character is going to die this was not emotionally effective because of the horrible lack of character development and the second cliche is the legendary exclusive weapons and abilities the imperial arm has a negative effect on the story it's unexplained and suddenly reveals trump cards which made the battle hard to take seriously as the tension can be built because we know that battle can be turned by some magical abilities that is made up on the spot and due to this huge number of imperial arms they felt more of plot devices for the author to use in twisting the plot without worrying about how logical the twist is everything can happen just magically the visual side of akame ga kill was average while some scenes were well drawn most action scenes were horrible most of akame scene were as if she teleported and everyone in the part between her initial and the final position has been slashed 
बट या आई मस्ट कॉम्प्लीमेंट द टू फाइनल एपिसोड एज द एनिमेशन वॉज मच बेटर दैन द होल सीरीज द कैरेक्टर डिजाइन वॉज प्लेन जेनरिक एंड समटाइम्स आउट ऑफ प्लेस एस्पेशली फॉर अकामे वो वॉज वियरिंग समथिंग लाइक ए स्कूल यूनिफॉर्म इन अ मेडिवल सेटिंग वाइल नॉट ए पावर हाउस द साउंड ट्रैक डज प्लेज एन इफिशियंट रोल इन पर्टिकुलर एक्शन सीन्स वेर सप्लीमेंटेड बाय द ओ एस टी विद द इंटेंस पेसिंग ऑफ द फाइटिंग हाउ एवर कैरेक्टर वॉइस इज मैनरिज्म कैन बी अ बाइट टू द हार्ट अगेन आई हैव टू एम्पथाइज दैट द तासुमी इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट जेनरिक कैरेक्टर आई नो टू द मैन काइंड हिज वॉइस शेड्स बिटवीन मैच्योर एंड चाइल्डिस इन वॉट कैन सीम लाइक अ स्प्लिट सेकेंड टाइम फ्रेम दिस इन एडिकुएट बैलेंस इज ए पेन टू डील विद एज सच विद अदर कैरेक्टर गेटिंग लेस फोकस इन ए सेंस द शो हैज मॉडरेट वॉइस मैनरिज्म वेन इट कम्स टू इट्स कास्ट हाउ एवर आई डू गिव प्रेस टू द वॉइस एक्टर ऑफ आकामे सोरा आमामिया and to wrap this off it's easy to say that akame ga kill is a show that might not be suitable for everyone i don't say this from a graphic content perspective but rather with a whole premise and what it tries to do in fact the premise is solid and stays true to itself throughout the show but it's just that the direction has some crude markings when it comes to the timing and balance this show is a shonen trying to be seinen and it thinks that if they killed all of the characters for no logical reason it's dark and edgy like yeah this could have been better if they would have developed some of the characters and it would have been much better show overall akame ga kill was poorly adapted show in short it has a decent premise which went wrong in its technical department it could not have been more average and the characters are stereotypical bland and underdeveloped to the no extent this show starts off as dark gritty shonen that could have become a seinen but eventually it just develops into a generic shonen that was as average as it can be and i know like uh, this video must be like for 6 7 or 8 minutes and for the 7 minutes i was like wool roasting the akame ga kill anime but you know what this is the reality this is the fact that akame ga kill is not as much as deep as people thinks this is just a generic show and yeah that was my views on akame ga kill anime and if you have watched akame ga kill then let me know about your thoughts in the comment section down below about this anime and if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel because i post daily anime content about top 10 top 5 listings anime reviews recommendations news theories and all sorts of anime content on daily basis so if you enjoyed please subscribe and that was it and i will see you in the next one sayonara